everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Next thing on the news block is AX merch info for Nidisanji EN, the Summer Jam, and Crow Noir on sale at the exhibit hall. Uh, they aren't selling concert-related merch for Niji and members of WTF, come on. Yeah, they're just selling, like, the regular merch they have, which, you know, is, like, posters. And you have all this stuff. You have hats. You have uh, light sticks. Okay, they are selling light sticks. They are selling light sticks. They're selling uh, towels. They're selling a lot of things. I mean, actually, this is not too bad when it comes to merch. They are selling a lot of things. So it is, like, you're seeing here, acrylic stands, light sticks, acrylic keychains, acrylic stands. Um, at least they're doing light sticks, which is, you know, for the concert, a lot of people want light sticks. So at least they're doing that much. You know what I mean? Not bad. Not great. Uh, but of course, it says, uh, same as usual, those without big enough international audience or sheer numbers to back them up aren't given any thought for merch. Nidhi Sanji isn't interested in growing their talents or the brand. They're just going to milk whatever livers they have and dump out as many new ones as they can, as they seem to be doing with the JP side as well. So yeah, they're trying to do all that, which is not, it's not great. It's not very smart, but you know, they're just going to keep doing that. Barely anything in EGN branding on a comparative JP side. They're really banking on people caring about Kuzoha and Kanae in the Western Sphere. Problem is, they really don't. What's worse is that both Kuzaha and Kana barely even interacted with the international audience. So they're, they're interacting more with the JP audience, but they're being pushed by the EN so much, which is an interesting uh, choice for them to make. $40 for a hat and $20 for and $4 for a critic sticker is crazy. $14 for a plastic keychain. Come on now. Hope even sisters don't buy this garbage. Yeah, it's too much for that kind of stuff. It really is way too much. They're charging entirely too much for all these types of things. Uh, but, you know, you have people who enjoy them that will be more than happy to pay this. At least that's what it seems like. Continuing on, Hex is still on the attention-seeking phase, apparently. This is in GTA, I'm guessing. It, uh, do you guys know any good plastic surgeons that needed KMS? Oh, God, he's doing this horrible stuff again. Is this the whole personality shtick? Haven't watched Hex once and just found out about him when he was throwing KMS all over the place with his videos. Got struck by YouTube and he blamed on a mass reports instead of YouTube cracking down on NSFW ASMR, which they're doing a lot of. They're cracking down on all NSFW ASMR. I'm here to make KMS jokes and audio prawn and YouTube banned me for doing the audio prawn. Ain't surprised if Niji gives PR training to any of them. Like, it doesn't seem like they're doing any kind of PR training, honestly. Didn't realize it stopped. Never watched again. I would only see them when they show up on JP streams. This is especially weird. They're so taking the P at this point. Uh... Too many Kilo Mile Sierra jokes, uh, the KMS stuff. Hex is not a phase. Was going through the daily uh, Kana and Niji GTA VODs. I noticed this in the world chat. Why would anyone announce to the whole world, especially in a server meant to bring people together? Feels very weird. It really is. He either needs help or should just stop. Like, seriously, like, get some help or stop just doing what you're doing and then just, you know, relax for a bit. Such a joke is okay now. And then when you hit the punchline, but he spams those KMS lines, like the P and bio bots. Uh, yeah, he's basically he's doing it too much. That's what this person's saying. He's doing it too much. <clears throat> he seems like it's just, I don't know, he's either unstable or something else is going on. Or uh, get people that watch VTubers to be happy and not to see all those jokes. And yeah, here we have someone else, you know, basically doing is basically this. This is Hex doing the stuff there, you know, making it uh, continuously. He thinks he's Desmond. Continuously doing this kind of stuff is not a good look. Right now we're talking about VC, V-C. Uh, if you remember them correctly, they are the ones, they are, I believe, a Singaporean VTuber agency, a small VTuber agency, EN specifically, that we're talking about right now. They had uh, an announcement today uh, mentioning that they're going to be disbanding. They're going to provide more info in a bit. As with everything, there are two sides to every story. You may not think our actions are forgivable, but it might be worth hearing out our factors and process that went into it. Uh, and this Heidi, Haiti is a person who was talking, who was a part of VC. They left for a specific reason. They didn't want to put out their reasons. But right now they're saying that they honestly don't think it's worth hearing out. There was no process and your DMs with your talents are borderline disgusting. Please disband ASAP. So what is this all about? It is this agency here who back in the day, Danny Drywall had to leave and others had to leave because they were having uh, issues with the, um, Danny was having issues with the management of the organization, other things like that. So there's the background. Now, this huge document here came out. This huge document came out right here, uncovering VC and expose. It's an expose document covering uncovering a large agency in this case. And here I am, the, the anonymous chinchilla, apparently. I don't know. I don't know which one of these I am. They're always anonymous. Over here, it's come to our attention that Singaporean-based VC has engaged in illicit activities. 
breaching Section 405 of Companies Act 1967. There have also been numerous allegations regarding VC. We have made a compilation of screenshots and interviews with former members of VC. We hope to provide a clear understanding of the situation so that the concerned reader may derive their own opinion of the matter, which is good. Provide information, let the reader decide. To introduce myself, former VC Gen 1.5, with other ex-talents creating an objective document highlighting concerns raised, we want to emphasize that our goal is to raise awareness and to better inform prospective talents before considering applying to the unregistered entity, VC, so they're not even registered in their proper area. Breach of Companies Act 1967, Section 405. Over here, you will see in these. A team like this was really fun. Yeah, but I don't make any money out of it. Yeah, in fact, I sunk a lot into it. So at the Discord server, you refer to VC as a company. Um, of course, let's see the site. The idea was to make a happy community. Uh, UEN member, if you don't mind me asking, uh, I thought the VC is a company. Well, maybe my boss, my boss advised me not to submit the paperwork until everything is in order. That's not good. That's never good. You make a company first and then you bring people in. So we're currently not an official listed company. That's not good. How old are you? I don't think you know how companies in Singapore work to be rude. I just have another boss as part of the big company and she's guiding me through this. She's not the boss. Okay. This VC person is not the boss. Also, by the way, for contracts and signing up for the company and stuff, it's all going to be on your birthday. So I plan to get listed on your birthday. VC admin told the talents that he was a CEO of VC. So they lied. Always. I am the boss. I'm the CEO, etc. For clarification, all businesses uh, formerly registered in Singapore have a UEN number. It's basically, you know, like a federal ID number. You have them over here. You have tax ID numbers. You have all those types of things. Employer identification numbers over here in the US inquired about it. They didn't have it. There's no such thing as unofficial company as it breaches Singapore section 405 and it's up to $50,000 Singapore in dollars or two years in jail. So they have to have this in order to be running as a company, period. Official source from the government website, if you want to take a look at it, it basically says the same things here, section 405, penalty for carrying a business without registering a corporation. So there are penalties for this because everything needs to be controlled. You want to make sure that there are legal ramifications if they do something wrong. Uh, VC has also claimed that it is a company uh, and it's talent contracts over here in the talent contracts, the employment contract here between blank and VC, the party agrees the covenant employment. They shall employ the party on a part-time basis uh, under this agreement in the capacity employee, which makes you think it's a company shall have the following duties and undertake the following responsibilities. Be with the company for a minimum of one year, be able to stream live at least two times a week, split 10% of all streaming revenue with the company. And again, performance of duties shall be, do the performance assigned duties, the regular stuff that you would see in a company. The term is uh, one month probation period where VC will supervise the employee. They mark them as employees the whole time. So the intellectual property rights of the model remain with VC until the, the employee has completed the term of one year. So after one year, you can get your, your model, which is good. Merch rights, employer holds the rights uh, to merch rights and intellectual, intellectual property with some cuts if the art from the merch is made by them. So they get full cuts from merch rights, which is not, I don't like that. Um, only if art is made by them, that's not good. Uh, conflict of interest will not be able to join any other agencies because of conflict of interest. Probation period of one month, that's kind of normal. Uh, things that will lead you to be terminated, giving other creators company hate secretly, publicly, calling other slurs, basically the main insubordination, lying about anything important, those types of things, lies, uh, anything that makes the company look bad. If you've done any of these, the following actions will be followed. Termination of contract and employee. A warning system. The first three times, VC will have immediate full control of employee social media for a week. After three warnings, VC may terminate the contract. So after first three warnings, they get your control of everything. After the next three warnings, then you, you get uh, removed. Liability for damages. Issues could be brought at court. That's assuming that they're a company, but they're not. So that wouldn't work. Inappropriate management. Minor allegations. There were five minors within the agency. Again, you don't do minors in an agency nowadays. You don't do that. It doesn't end well for anybody. It doesn't bode well for anybody. It doesn't do you any good to do something like that. I don't know why they did it. Okay. That's not how the world's going to see us. Say I'm 17. They see we're hired a 16 year old. We're dead, bro. Late birthday. I don't know if you'd be the problem. Basically see chat. She's so mean to me. Basically kind of, I don't know. Being weird. Uh, we have other miners in the agency. This this paid right here. So if we get flamed, it's your fault in particular. Like to step one, two, decline, or three, postpone. We can only postpone it to a short while because we start making the models about, you know, postponing being a part of VC. You ruined our bar and then you're like, nah, I don't want to get hired yet. To be honest, we're probably going to get even more peeps in Gen 2 and I can't guarantee you a model. It says, well, I can trust. Can I trust you? It's kind of weird way of talking. Screenshot above confirmed that there were other miners in the agency. Talent also had issues with the admin trying to get their personal info. It's basically this agency is registered and has guidelines that are linked to a country's government system or just have a document that shows you're an agency. We don't have that yet. 
So it's basically, they still don't have it. Can make you a card if you're comfortable with giving me your address. Send it. Also, I need your legal name. Need it for contract anyways. Uh, it seems very unprofessional overall. You can't because of legal reasons. Um, comfortable with giving me your address. Oh, yeah, because she's a minor. So this person was a minor. So that's not good. Your secondhand shop effing sucks. Over here, I have Elgato Wave secondhand. Latest model. Uh, what is the international fee? Like shipping fee? Uh, okay, what's your address? Doesn't matter. You can just, I guess, send it to them and somewhere else. Can I just buy it off the site myself? It's a local site. And when the site I was trying to leave VC, this is what they said. I don't use the, this against me if you're having thoughts of leaving. I'd rather just you, you just go. If you want to say, if you want to stay, I want you to lock in and go serious with me. I will not put investment into you if you're threatening going, I'm going to leave, bye. Do your work properly. Show me effort in your content. And I will gladly pay you for all your S. This is, again, seeming very, very, very uh, just not uh, professional. It's really complicated. I hope it's trustable. I trust you guys about the situations. They have an all girls group. I know you want me to say it's because of the branch bunch of problems. I like seriously, I cannot uh, manage or not understand some of your consideration. I'm glad you know the priorities, but I'm saying consequences. All the bad stuff will happen to everyone at the corporal, not just me. Kind of making them feel bad for wanting to leave. It seems like as there's no one left in VC except blank and blank will be taking a long hiatus until November when we can debut. This is June 18, 2024. So they're going to take a long hiatus, supposedly. Waiting till November as both talents are minors and he would like to wait till the year of age. So that's the issue with uh, Gen 2, I guess. Gen 1.5 was formed by the admin very soon after Gen 1 was announced. They were generally supposed to be an indie gen. Many of you brought our own things, such as models and everything else. Kind of like a phase invaders. Uh, were attributed to the company that Gen never, never announced. However, due to most of us leaving and it being dissolved shortly after, four out of five ended up leaving, which made admin dissolve the gen. Hi chat, probably dissolving Gen 1.5. We'll focus on Gen 1 first. Now you're just friends of VC for now. Feel free to hang out and play games. It's been lovely hosting you a lot. Apologies, management wasn't up to par. Hope you're around one day. 1.5 left. When we joined, we were told that we would keep 95% and he would just take 5%, which is fine. They mentioned all merch revenue would go to him. As we saw in the contract, that is not cool. Not even Nidhi Sanji does that. Of all agencies, Nidhi Sanji is doing better than these guys. That is not a good bar to have. And you see right here, gotta ask another thing. Uh, for merch, you guys you have a right merch. They have the right to the merch. Yes, they do. Make your own stuff. You have rights to use your image and sell it on our store for cons and stuff. Do we get a cut of it too, or does rev all the revenue go to you guys? The rev goes to us for the merchandise we make. Cost, price, and uh, allocations too. If you post our merch on your website, we can work it out a fair commission rate. This makes almost no sense since we're an indie gen. Everything we brought in was our own. None of our merch sales should go to them since no part is theirs. He had only mentioned this to us, uh, to one member of Gen 1.5, which is then relate to the rest of us. And this is a screenshot that was relayed above. Gen 1.5 was specifically created for us to use our creative abilities. Also, you said you would like to help us with stuff occasionally. Normally, we hire Gen 0 or Gen 1.5 because they have some unique value part from pure, re from pure revenue. Admin has constantly told us to make stuff for him. Uh, we can prove that admin isn't paying us much and sometimes even making us rush deadlines. That's never good. Here, more of the stuff depends on the money. Could you rig a model instead? basically uh they're trying to get basically free use of models people to make people in vc to make models for them they're already done with everything uh we know we're cooking some are done faster than others trying to get one of the people who's in there from what it looks like here to get um something going it looks like there it likes to word it as assignments or missions you can see below we're talking about another artist who's being used as well another one can you help soon? Tell me what it is first. Try to make it work. Can you rig this? Basically trying to get artists to do quote unquote missions without really getting paid from what it looks like. I'm not seeing anything for payment. I'm just, you know, seeing what it is right here. Uh, how much do you want to pay? You really have price range. How much? 40 bucks for a rig? Nope. Uh, how much do you usually pay the others? Like 20 bucks. Bro, you're like overworking your employees. Yeah, he's using employees to do rigging and he's paying them hardly anything. I mean, even on VGen, you get paid more than that. If you need me to just tell me, I could probably squeeze time for VC. And then we have unpaid artists, which is what I feared. I feared that there were going to be unpaid artists here. For the next part, interviewed an artist previously involved with VC to share their perspective on things. Blue text would represent their voice word for word. I would open commission for 15 bucks and he bought two. He told me he would pay after the sketch. But I waited so long, and due to him telling me to continue, I colored and finished it when he didn't pay. So it's like flying home tonight, start the calm. I'm home now, I can pay. So yeah, they're like not paying. He like didn't pay for weeks. He paid the same days he paid. That was just messed up. Convo with other artists, like not being paid. He would only pay after weeks of me waiting. During the same time, he paid another artist above for their $15 art. He finally paid me. 
So here, I'll research on how to make a revolt for you, revolute for you, because I intend to work with you a lot and pay you. During this time, he hadn't paid me yet for the artwork. He started telling me to do missions equals free stuff. And during that time, I was busy with other clients. He would rush me every day and give me false hope that he will pay for it. I even had to skip some days to finish his missions just to end up with no money or anything. And here you have him trying to say, you haven't finished the look, doing comms, like trying to push people to do comms. You made the sketches on your missions. I have more projects I need you to make, pressuring people again, saying he will give me money because then I will draw faster. Are you done with logos yet? Trying to be too friendly, a little too friendly here in my opinion. Also for the next mission, I'm, I'm going to pay you because I think you draw faster when I pay. Of course, when you're paid and actually paid for your work, it's going to go faster. After I'm done with my logos and asking him for a raise, he said he will pay, but only if Revolut comes. A lot of time Revolut doesn't work. It's not coming anytime. So here's another one. Here's a continuation of this. These are free things he digged from me because apparently I'm a low price, high quality. I only realize I'm being used when other people are, are pointing obvious things that he doesn't seem obvious. Don't be a, v a, a fool for VC. As you can see, he used terms, missions, assignments. He has only paid them 30 bucks for two pieces. He had only paid two out of six that were forced onto them. That is just messed up, man. Interview with ex-talent. Moving on to the next person. We have Danny Drywall. Uh, Danny was part of Gen 1 and was supposed to debut in August. He's, they're the recent person who left because of, you know, managerial issues. Everything is gold written by Danny themselves. Talent Danny Drywall. I'm just sad. I'm down 246 Australian dollars and I'm quite upset. Feel no malice towards people in VC, but I question management a lot. Why open generation one of talents without NDAs, contracts, a website, emails, or even any money? It felt like a group of friends who said, let's make a brand without uh, knowing how to play, a band without knowing how to play. It's just depressing. I had so much hope for Danny. I love Danny and I had so much fun. I met a group of talented and nice people. It's disappointing that this is the outcome. My experience was consistent feeling of being in the dark and getting ignored. They already announced my Twitter before my model artist has been chosen and used art I didn't want posted. I guess I'm just trapped. The first thing I thought, when, which had me scared, I have no ill will towards anyone there. Others may have their qualms. My heart simply can't do that. So they're a very nice person. I know it sounds ridiculous, but I'm a crybaby and I find it really hard to dislike people sometimes. It's hard to explain. My only upsetness is towards management. And even then, I find it difficult to be upset with them. I don't believe they're evil. They're just in over their heads. I do. Do I believe shady actions are made? Yes. Intentional? No. Just plain naive. I was promised a lot but met with nothing but stress of wondering just have uh so much fear that i'm doing this will take my career path you know they actually started feeling negative uh the future i've literally been requiring dreams of i want to be a hologram screen uh to dance and to sing and even a small collection of fans in a convention hall i want to see pen lights glowing my color which every vtuber wants who's a singer i want to be an idol so badly there's nothing else i want in my life just so thankful for the people helping me out in this hole out of my hole and into a place where i can feel more comfortable I have felt so alone for so long and I feel so much crybaby for shedding so many tears and filling my nose with not. I'm just astonished that people want to help me, which is, you know, great that people do. I am sad and disappointed. I hope my stress will end because from here on, I'm back on the grind and trying my best to, to my convention hall dream. I was also completely scammed with the app Revolut. I was asked to make three separate purchases using digital credit card within the app and the invite code sent to me by the admin. He said it would give him $100 so if I did so, and I assumed that money would go to me as it was my money I was spending doing this. I was so wrong. Over here, normal expenses, normal expenses on the card. What the F am I going to buy? Don't worry, it's not a scam because it's actually good stuff. A good question. Only cost you need to pay is $5 and the company will cover it for you. So they said they're going to cover it for him. Three purchases above $10. Just make sure they are separate. It's 10 p.m. I'll track it for you. What's up? They wanted to ask it, how free are you? Like, are you ready to set up the payment method? They kept pushing and pushing this payment method. It's really wrong. 10 hours left of this thing and you make three purchases, $10. I think like they, like they, they forced them to do these things. They were forcing them to do these. Probably get some art. They're in like an amount of limited to each purchase. Not sure because they don't, they don't even know how to run this darn thing. They don't count transfers as purchases. So you sent me something to PayPal. They may re recognize. I just got to buy something more than 10 bucks. So like groceries and this is my money. Yeah. I just want to make sure I'm understanding. Uh, what the F am I going to buy? And then they're going back with the same thing. Uh, 10 hours, the app will refresh and start new. I'd like to do it now, but I can't go anywhere. So the purchase online work, <clears throat> making everything happen with Revolut. Uh, what's going to thing you then? I'll send it to you, the money of the Re Revolut thing, after convincing them to do it. So they're convincing them to be part of like this weird scam looking thing. And um, it's really wrong for them to do that. 
And I really hate that they even did that. Continuing on. I lost about $45 from doing this. I didn't get anything but $2 back. Here you can see me paying for my debut. I had also told myself I'd be okay because they said they would reimburse me once the company was officially registered, which they never intended to do. I just wanted so badly for my debut to work and look like my agency was professional. I wanted it so bad to work out. Also, when I list the company, I claim the government money. I could reimburse you for the debut purchases. Want to calm this person for an animation? I can use a starting and ending screen. Holy jeebers, that's very expensive. I was going to uh, do a cool boss moment and accept on the credit card, but I saw the zeros. I was going to pay for it myself. Is it worth it? Sent sometime later, as I'd hope this message would knock some sense into them and actually plan. I'll be home later today. Spreadsheet checklist and all the talents is actually uh, showing each artist, rigor, editor, basically a list of everyone. That's professional. Uh, doing what they can for each talent. Clear communications for how much input the talent has on their own branding. That's also very professional and expected. Lore design, BGM. Who are the managers? Budgeting, clear knowledge of each gen state view budgets. And starting soon screen, all that kind of stuff. What is being done for each talent? That's what she wants them to do. We are small, but some of us do not have any money. Put on hold, put a hold on any more talents we, until we have enough. Those are the things that they expected them to do. These are not crazy things as you're seeing here. It's not a crazy expectation to have uh, them wait until they're in a better position. Uh, creating 1.5 felt to me at least a bit like pulling away from that. The decision should be told to us and announced directly because I have found out about generation 1.5. My gen mates being minors. Yeah, that was just a bad move. Third point is referring to people who had the manager role within our server that deemed to disappear one day. Uh, I was told at least one of them was a friend, so I assume that they're all friends who are in the server at one point, which is unprofessional, as the server was used to conduct interviews. And our past lives accounts could be seen. So unless you know they have NDAs, it's not good to have all that in there. Now here's the guy making excuses. Uh, we're behind in the first part. Uh, Gen 1, there's a little less talent input for branding than Gen 0. So the lower design and gen name will be decided by him, by them. They'll be taking uh, note of if you want wait, want any changes, that type of thing. But the final decision will be made by them. BGM, everything else made by them. Who are you referring to for managers? The only other person I see in, is Fab and Lotus. And Fab is a clipper, but I, we have no videos yet. Lotus is a very good organization person. So they didn't even have managers for them, it didn't seem like. Starting screens and overlays and emotes are not provided because I feel very talent. Every talent would have different tastes with that. But still, a starter is fine, and then they can, you know, get new things later on. Absolutely hard, agree on two, we'll have 18 limit. Uh, also, trying to slow down Gen 1.5, lots of people are applying, and they're good, so I didn't want to outright tell them no. That's what you're supposed to do as a company. Even if they're good, you choose the best ones out of all of them. And if you can't, then don't do Gen 1.5. Apologize for not letting you know about all the stuff early on. Took your chillness for granted. Yeah, that was a big no-no on their part. Taking chillness for granted. There's a big oversight on their part. Six, in terms of streaming games, I have no idea what's off limits to Corpos yet. We'll have to check. That's something they should have been doing before they even got the generation started. That's a bad thing. Feel my chill and lax personality being mistaken for a cool of my coworkers being underage is a ridiculous statement. Lacking experience in VTubing agencies shouldn't make you dumb enough to hire teenagers. I don't have anything against the people who are minors. I will not be naming who, but they should not have been hired. I mean, in a professional agency, you don't hire minors unless it's a minor, like, a directly underage like children agency then that's when you do that there are there are child you know auditioning agencies and things like that but this is an agency where you expect people to be 18 plus especially with contracts being signed i felt trapped within the agency due to our twitter's already being released so i don't know what to do how do i spent the money on my starting soon end screen purchase an emote from someone taking emergency comms and bought the chibi model i was asked to pirate wow they were asked to pirate a cheery model I was not under any contract to do any of this, which make me seem stupid, but you have to understand. Felt trapped in VC. I felt like I would, if I left, I would never have grown or interactions like the ones I experienced in VC. I thought I would stay for a year and be able to graduate owning a character of Danny Drywall. But I found myself just completely miserable in the company, which, I mean, I can understand that point. I was terrified of being blamed for the problems within our agency. I completely stressed out by the lack of transparency and communication. I and Tanya told admin a couple of times not to announce our Twitters as soon as I... As that is not how a regular company operates and we were ignored. I told admin a couple of times not to publish the artwork I was drawing within the discord call we were having as I wasn't comfortable that I was ignored and they were ignored about that So they were they didn't want the uh, the artwork that, it, that they were drawing to be published But it was he gave me three dollars as reimbursement, which is nothing It's a slap in the face giving me money days later doesn't stop my feelings of being ignored My feelings were acknowledged after the post was made and I shouted in the call. Why did you post that? I literally said not to it was private art. I do not want my art posted. When I felt the way our Twitters were announced was highly unprofessional and was an extreme first red flag. I wish I just left earlier, but I also don't. I stayed for the wonderful people I met and I'm completely lost without them. I am grateful for them helping me live out my idle dreams. 
lack of talent privacy. So this is a big one. Info spreading, admin likes to talk a lot. I would talk to one talent about stuff and go to the next talent. We will know everything about the other talent. This happened so much that I actually got to know the others before meeting them. Uh, the following screenshots came from two different people. There are more incidents on this, but the people talked about would not like them to be revealed. Uh, let's see the soundboard girl. Difficult right now, she's okay. Soundboard girl, she needs a lot of attention and she likes annoying people. Second issue, her parents. Oh my God, they mentioned about her parents wanting to take her on a vacation. And it says, I wonder if you could help me with something. Did you break up with people before? Many times, hop in VC, Kyore, both. Oh my goodness, broke up with her boyfriend. She's molding right now. So he's sharing way too many uh, personal details here. Great mic, no problems, only thing, being a VC with her. Incredibly funny, amazing work ethic, voice acting training by famous voice actor. Um, competent, Kyore, fucking Kyore. Extra shedding more light on things that doesn't fit any of the above. Do not go for average, I go for high quality, low price every time. So he wants to pay the lowest dollar for high, for high quality stuff. So underpaying people is what he likes to do, which is a big red flag. Regarding art related stuff, he would use us for free or as cheaply as possible. Many of us were used to our talents and skills. We're used for our talents and skills, making art, rigging, 2D models. He still has all the money from getting us to get on Revolt, Revolut, and hasn't paid us for the work that they did. Here, how do you feel about making art with me? This is the VC uh, admin, CEO, whatever you want to call them. Still part of VC, are we friends? Don't want to talk anymore, it's all right. Well, VC is probably dying, it's ending soon. Just let me know. It sounds like a kid doing this. If you still like me to contact you as a friend after this or just not speak anymore. This went on 18th of June. So this was a couple days ago as of recording of this. Because I'm recording this on the 20th of June. If you want to talk anymore, it's all right. When we left, he messaged us a lot, trying to amend things and fix things and cover things up. He said we will own up to his mistakes and fix everything. The screenshot below is what he said to another talent. He thought wasn't with wasn't with us. Un we are aware of rumors are spreading. If you want to state it very black and white, we aren't in legal trouble because technically we didn't have them sign any contracts. So we didn't hire minors. If things get too bad, we can still apologize, but we hope it doesn't get too far because it also attracts the mindless hate. I can understand not wanting to attract the mindless hate, but don't do dumb things, please. I'd like to thank you for your time. We've tried to objectively provide the facts and share perspectives from former talents previously involved in VC. We're not imposing any opinions and wish for the readers to use the information to form their own stuff, as I do as well. However, we emphasize that VC is not a registered entity, entity consequently, it's not a legal business. They, were not, they would not have been able to make business-style contracts. That's the main thing there. TLDR over here, there were no miners in the company. The admin uh, purposely hiding this fact. Agency isn't official. Admin has provide, hasn't has provided the paperwork as contracts to anyone they desired. Gen 1.5 was used as special talents that could help the agency, like doing art and stuff. Admin saying all of our Gen 1.5 merch will go to the company. Artists are, will have done a lot of work for the company. We're not paid. Admin will convince artists from the company to make work for free. Uh, admin has little no knowledge on how to run a VTuber company. Has relied on talents to show him how. So they're learning as they go. That's not very good for a VTuber agency. Has also called talents names behind their backs. Has shared information about talents to other people without their knowledge. Has little to no knowledge on VTuber uh, model pricing. Expected to get a model for $40 art and rigging. That's really dumb. Uh, has not given, has given the okay for projects and then has backtracked. Has asked a miner for their address to send them a mic for streaming. Despite a miner giving him alternative options for how to get it, get the mic. Admin has had a clo too close of a relationship to his talents. Kind of, uh, kind of how Wachter did. Not really good. Try to talk to them about IRL stuff a lot. Includes miners. Made talents use their own money over 200 Australian dollars and said they would give it back but never did. Made us all get Revolut to get referral money to get himself some money, themselves some money. This is not a good one at all. This is really bad. This is like way worse than what Nidhi Sanji's doing. It's like a Wachter level bad. And this Wachter is really bad. They even had to rebrand because of how bad they are. Now we have the response from these people. Let's see the response. Uh, they are saying that the first mistake was called it a corpo. VC was a passion project. Uh, the reason they made VC was because we saw a bunch of terrible corpos out there and they became one. And treating talents horribly, we thought we could do better. Apparently not. Our dream was to make fun, supportive stuff. Uh, at the time, I was 18 and Jin Yi was a minor. Uh, at that time, we had no idea why corpos couldn't hire minors and they... Basically, that's their excuse for hiring miners because they didn't know why corporals couldn't do it. Uh, got into this because of some weird, creepy reason, but more of nepotism friends. We were just a group of friends having big dreams. So they're trying to cut it as just having big dreams and not knowing what they're doing. It's not an excuse, though. First point, overworking artists. Ideology of VC. Um, a company against exploitation, against coercion and manipulation. Wanted the whole business model to be employee focused. So it came as a shock that the artist was complaining. To my knowledge, all art were made with consent. The moment I found out someone else that they didn't feel compensated enough, I reached out to ask. And for about three days, I didn't receive a straight answer. So this is, you know, the stuff that, that, um, the, that you saw in the previous post that I made. 
and it says, hey, can I ask you some important questions? Like right now, I don't know how you feel about me making art with me, that kind of thing. To my knowledge, I thought it was on good terms with the artist. Uh, obviously, you weren't. And we're even discussing going on vacation together. Point I must note is that as a startup, it is extremely common for people to often overassume responsibilities without complaint so that when things take off, they get compensated for what they do later. But you have to put that in writing. You have to put that in some kind of contract. This is not an excuse. I will not accuse them of this. And it says basically, um, uh, but at this point, note that they have made change their mind when situations started to tank in the future. Of course, because you don't want to be part of a sinking ship. I don't blame them for being that way. And it seem, really does seem like they are trying to blame the victim in this case for not asking for money. It's like, oh, if you wanted money, why didn't you ask for it? Because they didn't feel like they could in many cases. It's just really dumb, really BS. Point about paying late was due to me wanting to pay more as PayPal fees take larger cut of transactions. I never meant to stall and there were other artists at commission that I paid up front for. I do have ASD, not that haha -ha kind, but the little social disability, completely unable to read between the lines in the statement. I have that as well. I can understand that, but that's why it's good to have other people who can understand it better. I have close friends around me who tell me, hey, you're being a dumbass. Fix yourself. If you have those people around you, you can prevent these issues. A lot of these issues. Fully capable of taking no for an answer, but no, none was either not given to me or I missed some for that. I apologize. Second post, the first feedback. Uh, to my knowledge, I was not met with much negative feedback, including Danny. It was very late, possibly a week ago when I was first shown this, all this stuff. Unprofessional poor management skills, no NDAs, contracts put in place, minors to casual talents, suspicious deleted messages, applicant comparisons, and mentioning we wouldn't have picked you if not for X. All these, all these complaints right here. No lawyers, no parent company, does not know VTuber debut work, uh, throws legal name carelessly with, uh, and making fun of it. All these things were, were pointed out as bad things. Startling, a wake-up call to me immediately made steps to better manage the talents. And here we have some talents took it rather well, but actually started to give more criticism and feedback. It was already far too late and distress was already there and more people way past this. So that was an issue. Uh, the market of giving second chances. And this one, Gen 1, has come to my attention that my behavior as a manager has been lacking. So they try to, you know, apologize. They apologize that things were offensive uh, and apologize for using the resolute thing. I have, due to some past error and judgment, censored conversations that should have been left public, should not have been left public, as well as art made by talents that were not done. As a manager, I will try to be harder, hit the right balance. So uh, look at Zenny Short and Sana, Tani and Kyo's covers. Starting uh, t tomorrow, there will be a gradual reform of the company. So they try to do a gradual reform, but by this time it was too late. Something for a doc I fully agree with, and it's Danny's statement. And it's all the, sta the statement that was done. So there's uh, nothing I can say to atone for I badly we managed Danny. The poor girl did everything perfectly and caused me almost no problems. We neglected to inform her of the extremely important things that I had no awareness she even did until after Danny had left and I rechanged my steps with Haru. She came with big dreams, and I'll never recover from being the one responsible to crush them. I am quite okay with the other doc because I believe she deserves to be vindicated publicly. We had only agreed to try to keep the protected talents still remaining. So that's what they're saying here. Here you can see me paying for the debut, all that kind of stuff there that we went over in the last document in my, my the, the earlier part of this video. Here you can see me, my autism working because I was under the assumption she was totally okay with paying for everything. She said that I had not given her the money for the card payout. She had initially desired, denied receiving it and I have to spend all of it plus more in her model up front. I'm also not fully aware there was 239 Australian dollar price quote is from because what I am keeping track, I owe about 25. Regardless, I lack clarity with her. So he's admitting to some things, at least they're admitting to some things. Fourth point, the full picture. Cancel culture has a funny way of only bringing the bad things out of context into light and not acknowledging any of the good I did. Pretty much the only manager interacting with talents most of the time. A lot of people on the dock even told me, yeah, we're still friends and encouraged me to vent only to turn around and take it out of context to bring me down. If this is true, this is a bad part. Humans do this a lot, unfortunately. I've had that happen to me before, unfortunately. So I can, uh, if it is true, if this is true, take it just with, you know, a grain of salt, then yes, I understand. It's happened to me. He says right here, uh, this was on the, eight, the 19th, 2024. This was, uh, all right, thank you for staying as long as you did. I promise the plan was never to stress you. Things went, just went down. Hope you'll enjoy the rest of your content creation journey, and I'll continue to support you as an indie. If you need any assistance, I still have resources to spare. I apologize for stressing you. Would you like to plan a, a date to move on? We'll need a space to announcements a little. Um, I also need to thank you. Uh, need to ask, are you get, leaving on good terms? We'll still be friends or you will prefer no contact. So I, that is something that I can understand as a person that has autism. You want to make things sure things are 100% are sure in the end. But of course, 
there are issues that you can run into of people not understanding things, you know, myself included. Locked the talents in with contracts, threatened them to stay, spent money on equipment and assets, and was, despite knowing full well the talents can leave at any time. A lot of them said they felt trapped, because, but I believe I was actively doing my best not to guilt trip them by accident. It happens, be better. If it, if it did happen, be better. They felt away, bottled up, and didn't tell me there was quite literally nothing I could do, as I would never know the sentiment existed. Hindsight is a wonderful thing. Another thing I taken out of context was the address thing. I can tell you I literally do not care where they lived. I don't have the time to go and stalk anyone. They were using a headset mic, and I wanted to give them the cheapest Elgato wave I could find. A headset mic? Uh, you know, a lot of people don't like headset mics. I can understand that. I hate that people take things I intend for the wrong way, but I guess it's fair because they never really knew me for that long, and maybe I was too easily trusting and thought we were on familiar terms. I trust people blindly most of the time, and I optimistically believe strangers I meet. I have the best interest for me, so sometimes it confuses me when people don't think I have the same for them. Other than that, I don't feel overworked or mistreated by you. You're a great boss. You care for your employees and actively go out of your way to take care of them. Thanks. I always maintain the stance that my intentions were always pure. My execution was disgustingly immature. So they accept some blame for there. And I am glad that they do. I'm glad that they do. Screenshots from the other doc. Uh, you know, the 955. I don't believe this property shows returns from when I told Haru that merch sales still go to them. Be entitled to make uh, and sell our own merch based on their image. But still, even Nidhi Sanji gives like even a 2%, even a paltry 2% is better than what these people are giving. Because Nidhi Sanji creates the stuff in the image, but they still give more than these people do. My team that I'm writing this with a complete lack of empathy, unfortunately that is not the case. I am extremely sensitive and I have a strong moral compass and a sense of justice. I simply have no more emotions left for this case as I've cried it out for many days on end. And I do believe that they have. Sometimes I wish I had, was the evil, unfeeling corporal so I wouldn't have to handle the guilt, but I'm simply a human who made a mistake. My biggest regret was that it was at my was wasn't at my expense. Some people might ask why I haven't apologized or acknowledged my mistakes. I have just privately. I hear again another private apology. I'm so sorry. Just looked through the old text and realized I never did inform you beforehand about the minor situation. The egregious oversight and definitely grounds for a red flag. I'm so sorry. I never intended to deceive you in any way. Like this is good. It's good that they did this. They did a full on apology. And not my intention to keep anything from you. You were brought in the earliest while we were still in auditions, and I neglected to tell you anything. A, a S10 of vital info. We didn't have that info as well because we were unsure who was getting it. I'm sorry I gave you a reason to distrust us and I'm sorry I invalidated anything you said as this was a colossal F up on my end. I, I told Haru, I told Wizzy about Sana and Tanya and I told Kyo. Don't recall telling her to hide it from you because I was pretty sure I told you myself, but I didn't. So they're accepting a lot of mistakes here. No hate and punishment you can give me that I haven't already given myself. That's why they're disbanding. Said, give your support to all the talents. This is at least a good side. They were entirely innocent in all of this, and it took months of work to select and inform a community this wonderful, and it would mean the world for the last of VC to pick up where I left off and support the talents with whatever they want to do. But in honor being everyone's admin, but this was simply a responsibility I was never ready for. And of course, it sucks that they were never ready for it. It sucks that people had to suffer because of it, but at least they're semi accepting something. It may be one of those half hearted things where, you know, they accept where they after things went bad. But of course, take that as you will. And you guys make the decision. I'm not going to put anything on it. I'm just going to give a little bit of my opinions here, my my thoughts on it, but not give a final judgment. You guys are the ones who choose on that one. Thank you so much for being here. And this is, uh, again, once again, VC is disbanding. VC made a lot of mistakes and they're gone. Here we have some uh, one. This was a Jojo uh, meme with this. I reject my humanity, Jojo. Yeah, Nidhi Sanji, of course, rejects humanity. That's what that's what Nidhi Sanji always does for you. And here again, it's like, uh, first of all, the court quantitative report about not not supporting Nidhi Sanji JP and Nidhi Sanji EN. We'll focus on JP branch and EN branch, right? That's Padme. And smile. And the end branch, right? Yeah, no. Sorry, Padme. Again, you got screwed. First by Anakin and now uh, by uh, <laughs> Nidhi Sanji. It's just the way the world works, sadly. Inami Yoki is a large VTuber. A very popular VTuber. Very well-known VTuber. And recently, they posted this. This was about six days ago. About a week ago. But I'm getting to it now because I just saw it today. Please read. Nothing scary. Said Yoki. Sorry if I scared you with this big thing of text. But I have a rep to uphold as a prankster yokai you know i'm announcing a one month hiatus i'll take a break from streaming but hopefully not content creation it's been a good while since i've last taken a break and it's about time i get a lot of a bit of rest i know a lot of yokidachis yokai dachis have noticed how inconsistently my schedule has been that's not without reason yoki is a very busy yokai balance many things daily been streaming classes work etc want to put my 100 percent into everything but it's left me a little winded my motivation has been going down Ooh -wah. Ooh -wah. uh i keep 
putting it off because I don't feel as if I had good enough reason to take a break. That's something that happens a lot. A lot for a lot of content creators. They don't feel that they can take a break. I realized that I want to make sure I give you guys my 100% too. Even though my schedule has been finicky, there's still many things in the works in the background. I will rest up and focus on putting out more high effort content and regaining my energy so that I'll be more powerful yokai in the next stream. Honk, Mimi, Yoki. So she's doing this, which is good. Yoki, you almost scared me. Uh, but I hope you have well-deserved break. Have a nice break. Rest well. Have a good rest. So she's going to be coming back sometime in July. Uh, going to miss the smug, but rest is important. Yeah, she always has smug. She's always very smug with everything she does. And that's a smug bunny girl look that you have there. The other stuff there, you know, she's been uh, reposting, redoing, you know, posting a lot of things out there. Um, you know, just people posting a lot of support, which is great. I'm glad that they have the support. I'm glad that they've decided that people will still stay because people are going to stay. But having that break is very important overall. Overall, it's just super important to have a break like that. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.